Hey guys, okay, so I'm gonna do this collective haul. It's just a bunch of things I've bought over the past month or so. Um, so yeah, let's just get started. Okay, so a while back, I um, sent my friend out to buy my makeup remover wipes for me. And um, I was just like, just get the uh, white ones, it's fine. Um, I've never tried them. So this is what they look like. And they are so so. They are really good at getting makeup off. Like, it takes off all my face makeup and everything. But there's two problems I have. One, they burn my eyes really bad. And I have sensitive eyes or contacts and everything. Um, so they burn my eyes. And then, two, it would like smear my black, like my eyeliner would like be on my face. So I had a double wipe. I don't know. It just. It didn't absorb very much. It kind of just like left it on the surface of the wipe and just like spread. So it kind of was like. So I used those for a little bit just until I got the chance to buy new ones. Then I got, um, which I've used these before, the Neutrogena makeup cleanse or makeup remover wipes. And I really like these. I've used these before. Then um. I used the Garnier ones for a while, and I can't remember if I liked those or not. And then um, I got the hydrating, the Neutrogena hydrating ones, and they're the, like, teal, the turquoise blue color. And I have dry skin, so I liked them a lot, but I just could not, I didn't like the smell. I thought they stunk. So um, I just went back to the original Neutrogena, and I uh, like I love these, so I definitely recommend the Neutrogena Makeup Remember Wipes. Then, um, let's see, I bought the St. Ives Timeless Skin Apricot Scrub Renew and Firm. This was on sale at Kroger for like $3, and I got this, you know, and I, I think it's working pretty good. The only thing I don't like is the smell. I don't know how to describe it. I think it's the apricot. Like, I just, but they only had this. They didn't have any other scents. Um, but I just use this, and then I usually put, like, my um, Garnier Moisture Rescue base mask on. Um, and then I, I can't really smell this anymore. So I just try to get past the smell while I'm doing it. So, yeah, that is that. I got two new blushes from e.l.f. The, uh... I have the Pink Passion, which is like the hot pink. This is Tickled Pink, which is like a baby pink. It looks like this. And it's like a um, like a rose color, but it's very sheer. Like I, It takes a lot for me to put it on. It just looks like that. If you can see it on my pointer finger. It's not a lot. It's not heavy. It kind of just adds that little bit of pink to your cheeks, not too much. I really like this a lot. I've been wearing it almost every day now for about a week. So, um, yeah, that is the uh, pink pat or no, the tickled pink uh, elf blush. Then the other one I got is in candid coral, and it's like a a tannish pink. It's still a pink, you know, just like a coral color, but. And I really like this too. I like both of those. And this will be like really good in the summer. You can see that. Um, I don't know. I just absolutely love both of these. I love e.l.f. blushes. They're only $3 at Target. Uh, they, you know, like I said, it take, I had to like put a ton on to get a really good color payoff. But they're only $3, so they're just good. And they're really compact and they're just good to have as backup blushes or just even if you love them like me like I wear them every day then um, I went to Victoria's Secret and got this at the with the semi-annual sale and it's the Glam Goddess Body Mist and it's like a pretty good size it's 8.4 ounces and I got this for like $5 it's $20 and I got it 75% off so it's a really good deal it's just a really good musky smell I really like it I love having body mist they're just easy to put on after the shower on the go grocery store just when you don't want to use your really expensive perfume so i love body mess and i have a ton for victoria's secret and add this to my collection and then the other thing i got from victoria's secret was a, a little bag like this 
and um, it's from the Supermodel Essentials line and I got it to store my lipsticks and like a similar lip glosses because the other bag I had broke, the zipper broke so this is what it looks like, it's just got Victoria's Secret all over it with these pink stars and whatnot and the zipper is like this metallic gray color or whatever it's just really flimsy. I put it in my purse, so, um, and then the zipper opens, and it opens up really wide so I can, like, see, so I can, like, see deep down in there and whatnot, so I love this bag. It's so cute and just perfect for lipstick, so, and this was only $9. I think it was, like, I really don't know how much this was, honestly, probably, like, 25 or something, but it was, um, on their little clearance to in the very back of Victoria's Secret. So, okay, I got my first mineralized skin finish natural, and this um, it's a powder. And let's see, I'm in the color medium deep. And it just looks like this. It's just this tan color and it's got no shimmer and it's just matte. I have super dry skin and I really wanted a powder to set my concealer and my foundation because I just like that matte finish. I love it. And so I kept hearing so many good things about this and I was like, oh, because it's $27 and I was, do I really want to spend that on a powder? Because I was using Revlon's um, pressed powder and I really a ribbon color today but I really liked it but I couldn't put it all over my face I looked cakey so when I went to the matte counter the girl was like no oh, this should be great because it's um, mineralized which is like water so it it's very dense it's not gonna like look cakey um, but I'm absolutely obsessed with this I'm going to totally repurchase this like the $27 is like it's a lot but it's like just a number to me now because like once you make that really high-end purchase the first time it doesn't really seem like a lot I mean it does but I, I don't know I'm just in love with this and I cannot say enough good things about this so I definitely recommend the mineralized skin finish natural then the other thing I got from Mac is um, another Mac lipstick and this is in the color angel it's just this beautiful pink it's like a nude. I'm wearing it right now, but it's kind of come off. I'll put it on again. If you can see the lighting in here is kind of off. I'm sorry. Um, I guess it's the walls or something. But it just looks like this. If you can even see its true color. It's a very, it's a pink for sure. It's going to be so nice for the spring. I'm so excited. Um, it's a frost. So it's it's not like very a cream sheen or anything, but it's not drying. Um, sometimes I wear it with a lip gloss over it. Sometimes I don't. It just kind of depends, but I love it. I just got it like two days ago, and I'm already obsessed. And um, it's also like Kim Kardashian's. Uh, it's known for being one of Kim Kardashian's like signature lipsticks. So yeah, definitely recommend Max Lipstick Angel, which I'm sure you've heard. Anyways, so. Then at Sephora, I got two things. I got um, the two different kits or gift sets. The first one I got is the Tan About Town. And this was $12, which was, I thought was a great deal. And it says, our mini kit for a quickie tan, so natural looking. Nobody will know it came from a box. And it's three little, um, I guess, samples. I like buying, if they come up with gift sets with different things I want, I love buying that because they're usually more affordable and that way I can try like small things of it before I spend a ton of money on the big thing. So the first thing that comes in it is some kind of gorgeous and it's a foundation. It's called the Foundation Faker. Apply evenly all over face with fingers. And it just looks like this. And um, it's very soft. It just looks like that. If you can see, it's very soft. You know, like um, this. I think this, like this little kit, will be really good for the summertime when you're just like on the go, trying to, you know, just like a quickie or just to touch up on certain spots of your face, whatever you want to do. The second thing that came in it is the Hula bronzer, like a little thing of it. 
And um, I'm sure y'all have seen, heard of this too. It just looks like that. And that, like, you know, I'm excited to try it. But I'm excited to try that. And then the last thing um, was a miniature bad gal lash. And, um, which this is just black. I think that, and then they have bad gal brown. Um, but, so this is going to be the black one. And I had this brush like three years ago. I had the full size one and I loved it. And I just never purchased it because it is $20 for a mascara, which is a lot, but you know, I don't know. I'm older now, so I work more. So things are a little bit more affordable, but that's the brush. It's really thick. It just is an amazing mascara. Um, when I do wear this, though, right now I'm using my CoverGirl Lash Perfection as well to separate and then this on top of it. But I recommend this mascara alone. So when I saw it in the kit, I was like, perfect, because it was so cheap. So um, you can buy the miniature one of these, and I think it's like $9. Like this alone is $9. So yeah, definitely check this out. Even if you can't find this, definitely check out the mascara. Uh, yeah, so that is the little um, Tain About the Town. And I actually found this. I couldn't find it anywhere in the um, store. And then when I was checking out, I saw it in one of those little bins. So if you can't find it in like the benefit section, definitely look in those little bins in the uh, checkout line because they might be there. So, um, yeah. Then the second thing I got is the Smashbox Try It kit. And it was $19. Um, it says it retails for $52. And it just looks like this. And it's got these five products in it. And I like the packaging because it opens up and it looks like that. And they're all sitting here. And it shows each thing and what they do. And um, <clears throat> this is the uh, Smashbox Gotta Have It, a collection of best-selling Smashbox products. Okay. So the first one is the Photo Finish Foundation Primer. It's just this little small one of it. Looks like that. And when I asked y'all to recommend a primer to me, I got tons of recommendations to use the Smashbox Photo Finish. And, you know, you can get a big thing of it, and then the small thing of it, which is, you know, bigger than this, but not too big, was like $17, and I was like... So, when I saw this whole set thing, I was like, oh, perfect, so I can try it first, because if I just, like, fall in love with it, maybe it'll seem more, you know, reasonable to me. Um, it's a oil-free product it's I put it on a day it's extremely soft it's full silicone I love that about those I love primers with silicone in it and um, so yeah was excited about that loving it then it also came with a Smashbox photo finish lid primer it looks like that and I tried this today and I love it. It is, um, I think I love it more than I love my Urban Decay Primer Potion. It's very matte. Um, let me see if I can show y'all. It is not as soft as the uh, Urban Decay, which I think gives me more of like a um, secure, it's kind of like a concealer consistency. Um, I feel like it really gets into my creases and prevents creasing, you know, makes it more of like a smooth um, canvas for your eyeshadows. So I really love it and it says you could wear it by itself. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm probably going to purchase this in the full size because I'm loving it and I've only used it today. So like I said, as soon as I put it on and started rubbing it in, I was like, it all. So yeah. The next thing is the Limitless Eyeliner, and this is in the color Fig. It's just this small little pencil. It looks like that. And it's just this pencil, and it's, it's like a brown color. And I'm wearing it on my bottom line today, um, along with a white liner, so it's like underneath my eyelashes but I love it it has not moved it says um 
Waterproof long wearing liner provides bold definition that won't smudge or budge for up to eight hours, which I've had it on for probably not that long, probably about five hours or so. And it really hasn't moved or like rubbed, you know, like some of them just like run. Um, I like it a lot. You know, I probably won't repurchase it. I don't know. Maybe I haven't used it enough, but like I really do like that. So. Okay, and then the next thing is the Hyper Lash Mascara in the color Blackout. And it's just this little one like this. And um, it's like more of a synthetic rubbery uh, bristles instead of like the lash, um, the bad gal lash. I haven't tried this yet, um, so I can't tell you anything about it. But yeah, comes in this kit. And then the last thing that I have not tried yet either is the Smashbox Lip Enhancing Gloss in the color Illume. And it just looks like this. It's this really pretty nudie gold color. And... And it's lighter than my skin so it'll look really pretty it kind of reminds me of my sugar pilot gloss if you i hope you can see that so that is basically everything that i've got recently i've got a lot more but it's a surprise of where that's all going i'm sure you'll see that very soon so thank you guys for watching this don't forget to subscribe follow me on twitter and i'll see you in my next video